Many people mistakenly believe that the ability to use tools is a uniquely human talent. However, it is known that several species make use of tools in some form or another. In fact, Archaeologists have found that Capuchin monkeys have been using tools for at least 700 years. During an excavation in Brazil, archaeologists found 69 stone tools. After carbon dating, the oldest of these tools was found to be at least 600 to 700 years old. This is equal to about 100 generations of Capuchin monkeys. Researchers observed that present-day Capuchins use these stones as hammers and anvils to break open nuts. These tools remained unchanged in size and shape over time, which suggests that Capuchins are conservative in their use of these tools. Capuchins have also been seen to break stones to make stone flakes, which are sharp enough to cut meat also an activity previously thought to be exclusive to humans. The ability of Capuchins to use stone tools is a remarkable discovery. However, they are not the only primate species to use stones as tools. In a previous primate archaeological study, researchers discovered stone tools used by chimpanzees from the Ivory Coast of West Africa that date back to 4,300 years ago. They also use their stone tools to crack open certain types of nuts that humans don't eat. Another species of primates that use stone tools are macaques. Long-tailed macaques from Thailand were seen using stones to break open shellfish, oil palm nuts, and oysters. What makes the finding more interesting is that macaques have been introduced to the island very recently. This is a recent change in the behavior of the species, because using tools is not a part of their genetics just yet. This is only a recent adaptation, and how this knowledge of stone tool use is transferred from one generation to another is still unknown. Apart from capuchin, macaques, and chimpanzees, orangutans and gorillas have been seen using plant tools. However, the use of stone as a tool has been rare among these species. This makes chimpanzees, capuchins, and macaques the three non-human primate species with a history of stone tool use. The varied use of stone tools in these three primate species shows that they developed this ability independently. These findings open a new window of research for primate studies that can help us understand how our ancestors evolved some two million years ago when they first started using stones as tools. While the use of tools in these species is impressive, the tools themselves are still very primitive in nature. They are still very far behind the tools that were used by human ancestors. One reason for this gap could be the limited cognitive abilities of these species. Humans are known to have far greater cognitive abilities than any of these species, which enable us to perform complex tasks needed to create finer tools. But, there is still the possibility that through evolution, the skills of these primates may continue to develop.